the T in front of that hug, the bitch, I'm a thug, nigga. She said the last nigga did her wrong, so the reason why she don't trust niggas. But to me, myself, and I, I ain't that guy, I ain't that other nigga. She know I'm first, nigga. Yeah, we name all of our posts. I go grab bust and bust them. Trash man and be like five up in the morning, I still dumb. I done it wrong too many times, but at the same time, I love her. I'm already born up in December. I do it like Russian, nigga. That mean cold, do a hoe real cold, do a op real cold. You better close that back door. I don't need none of you niggas. All I need is my bro. And GLD, and my mama, and my daughter on my school. In my city, I'm a criminal, leave a op nigga minimal. Get the flash, and ain't no interview. Get body off the interview. By her designer, she know I stump it some Jimmy too. I'm a slick talking nigga, talk to your bitch like Dr. Little. Probably the realest shit I ever wrote. I see niggas hoes that grow up and claim seven folks. I see niggas with big guns, but won't even let them blow. Yeah, he ballin' like the suns, but with them points hit his throat. If it's mine, I'm bent on ten of folks. Nigga like many jokes. Give a fuck if he's the top. I get him gone, nigga, like any mo. Like any mind mo. Somebody got it, bro. Nigga, better watch that back, though. Really shit I ever wrote, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, man, what inspired you to get into rapping, man? Shit, really, my big brothers coming up in the hood, they was freestyling and uh, everybody seen them really fuck with that shit. So, like, when I, when I got a little older, I started freestyling and shit. And, you know, came out pretty, pretty cool on it. It was tough at that shit, for sure. Man, I got a tough <laughs> question, like, Man, where you see yourself in five years? Shit. <laughs> Shit, really? Really, bro. I can't see me being on 30, though, for real. It won't be in five years, but it'll be real close on some shit. Like, I'm trying to get this shit now, for sure. Feel me. So, five years, hopefully everything that I want to I wanna achieve. Well, where can we find your music at, man? I'm, I'm everywhere. Look me up uh, CTB Sam on all platforms. CTB SAMA, all platforms. If you want to look at my videos and shit, uh, that's on 4LB Sam. Already, already. Already on the YouTube and all that. Yes, sir. You write your music? Shit. 2023, Line Lil Low. My, my partner, my brother, really, he uh, he, he was punching in when he freestyled and shit. I mean, when he was making music, he was punching in. And I started out writing for it. But, uh, <clears throat> shit, he convinced me to do that punch in and shit. So, like, for a full year after that, I mean, I just been punching in, but up until now. Like, most, all my recent shit just punching in and shit. So, I really said, Back then, I used to write. Now I just punch in on some shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, really? Man, if you had five artists you would collab with right now, dead or alive, who would you mess with? Shit, let's see. I got G Herbo. Make sure I got her. I got. Uh, I got Future. See that? Or maybe like, I wouldn't even fake, fake punk, fake it. Like I say zero. I could, I could fuck with raw. I could not fuck with raw. They be. I say, I say CJ for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> What's your creative process like? Shit, bro. I be alone for real. So I usually do everything myself. Lights off. Lunch, really. Sunday. But before then, before I started smoking, again, I was just going in there. Like sober, bro. But just long, really. For real. Yeah. A long time. 
try to at least. Yeah. Man, if you had a message to leave your fans, like some positive, what, what, what kind of message would you leave a man with? <clears throat> appreciate y'all fucking with my music and following the path that I've been going. You know what I'm saying? Like, still rocking with me because y'all fuck with me. And y'all hearing my story and some shit y'all can relate to through it. But I appreciate y'all. Like, let me be versatile and doing other shit and seem like y'all been fucking with. Thank God. For sure. Already. Already. Um, Man, if it wasn't for music and just your uh so if you wasn't doing music right now what would you be doing shit the same shit like you know uh hang with my partners trying to get some money you know just trying to find another other way when i was young when i was young you know everybody wanted to be all different types of shit i wanted to hoop so they nigga figured out nigga couldn't hoop that shit gone quickly. <laughs> I, I gave up on the motherfucking sports nigga. I'm in high school on varsity. Young nigga on my mama. I said, nigga, they brought in, they brought in this paper. So you can sign up for your uh, letterman. Nigga, I ain't signing shit. Nigga, I left that bitch in my locker and got kicked out like the next week on some shit. Uh. No name, no. Yeah, yeah. I did the sports to my big brother. I shot it. It was tough for my mama. Now you know, for sure. Yeah. Man, if it could be anything in the industry you could change, man, what would it be? Chill at the top of that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> at least to my knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, Shit. You see what's coming to light. You see how shit going on. Yeah, I say, I say that. And like, what the, uh, what the mass fuck with? You feel like what's popularized? Yeah. I wish the, the narrative spotlight was on a different, you know, different type of scene. They on some bullshit right now. Everybody want to listen to bullshit. Young niggas, young niggas. Yeah. So everybody. <clears throat> Would you say rappers like NBA Youngboy is beneficial to the community? He, he brought in a, a lot of a lot of newer street niggas, young street niggas to this music shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get them out the streets. So oh, this nigga can do it. He from he from Baton Rouge. Nigga, I'm right down the road. Nigga, I can do this shit. You feel me? So I feel like in that aspect, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. <clears throat> How you describe the type of music you make? If you was to open up for any artist, who would it be and why? Uh, like, like a rapper that's on, huh? Anybody. Anybody.
Future. What you think that set you apart from an artist? Period. A lot of the sound, the current sound that's uh, in our area in Texas is like uh, it's a lot of punching, no hook, kind of you know drill shit, and it's been like that for a little while, a couple years. And I I say I kind of got out there a little earlier. It started uh. Finding, finding myself, my music, and all that. Uh, early on, I would say, shit that I'm talking about on the, my bars, and you know, I fuck with my bars, I ain't gonna lie. Flip. That shit, un, undisputed, undisputed, nigga, on my mama. You know, go check. Oh, really? Uh, the bar game. It's for be some shit to be some. Find me at the Chop Fish Artist Showcase in 2024. It's on May 25th. Beat me up before you see me up. Real tough. Turn me up, man. Foes up, nigga. Stop baby shit, nigga. You know what it is, nigga.